Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome, welcome everybody. Let's keep up with our analysis of the forex market. So, recently, in a couple of sessions ago, market has changed the short term context into bearish by forming this strong downside reversal and forming engulfing pattern. And although nominal trend remains bullish, you could see that MACD still stands bullish. Market hasn't quite reached it yet. Uh, this pattern itself suggests, well, if even not the really direct straightforward breakout but at least it suggests some downside continuation so some kind of the abcd pattern on lower time frame but in fact it also might be the pattern that will trigger the downward breakout because if you'll take a look carefully at the um, weekly chart you will see that this performance actually take the shape of the clear bearish flag that is forming right upon the strong weekly conference support on its lower border and uh, well, this combination usually is a some hint on the possible preparation for a possible downside breakout. We will see. Besides, as we have mentioned yesterday, on the Great British Pound, we have cross market divergence when the Great British Pound shows clearly downside pattern. So it's uh, kind of the butterfly. This has moved slightly lower yesterday as well. And with this. Uh, pattern on the cable and if you will take a look once again on the dollar index so this is 10 year yield on the dollar index you could see what has happened yes the market also showing up protection this uh, after this rally and what is also more interesting with this rally is that market has abandoned and ignored the op it has turned up not from the op once it has been completed but before that it means that here is something really important background stands with this reversal uh, something has triggered it and uh, markets usually very rare ignore significant targets it's also my divergence is forming so all these factors together suggest that well uh, the background on a very bearish background on the euro might be not as uh, weak as it seems right now so finally on the 10 year yield you can see that rates once again turn into the upper direction after the minor pullback and all the stuff supports on the United States dollar performance. We will see what will happen today. We, we will get uh, Christine Lagarde um, speech. We will get a preliminary data for gross domestic product. Um, we'll see what will happen. But currently it seems that the fair in, um, in, in, in uh, statistics in the United States is decreasing. So market actually uh, losing the trust to uh, statistics that have been released as an in inflation data as in other uh, statistics including employment and other stuff so from that standpoint united states credibility is, uh, is tending to the china where the statistics absolutely not transparent and uh, it's very difficult to uh, use it for a real understanding of the situation that's going on there and uh, with these multiple adjustments that the united states make and made previously it's also well really skewed the statistics numbers significantly uh, we have already show showed this many times in our reports uh, speaking on inflation and, and uh, deflator in this gross domestic product and other stuff so in the short term you could see that the factors mostly stand supportive to uh, to the dollar and uh, with this suggestion we will still watching for minor pullback for it, considering taking maybe short position here. We'll see what will happen today because truly significant volatility might be and probably hopefully we'll get some chances um, to for position taking. So on lower time frame, here is actually the flag that I am talked about on the weekly chart. It's on the weekly looks much smaller than on the fall time frame chart. Here we have good thrust down and market right now is flirting with 105.40 FIB support. So with some minor pullback here, maybe we could consider something. Uh, also here, this thrust probably could be used for 
Jod Napoli Brand Brothers sell. For instance, if we will get on the date release, maybe on the Christine Lagarde comments, some pullback, this might be used as a brand butter. And uh, on the hourly chart, you could see the levels that you also could consider. Uh, preferably, if it will be somewhere around one or six. It's also trend line, some pullback suggests the 30% retracement to the conference. That's the one of the area that we could keep an eye on today with the performance. Um, yesterday, we will get the personal consumption expenditures, also important in the year, and see what will happen. But for now, um, I suggest that the uh, most conservative trading plan is just uh, since market stands to the support, is to wait for reaction on the support, wait, wait for the bounce, wait for release from major data, and then see what will happen and make the decision.